Is that it? What is that? I know what those are. Oh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna have to pay me. Oh, nice. I didn't know you had that attack, Mr. Andrega. I'm going down. Okay, you are going down. What the hell are you trying to do right there? Don't shower me. There it is. Andrega drones. Yeah, I never saw these before. Shall I release Boris? Boris? You shall. Boris! 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 Especially for you, for the first time in a long time, release Boris! Release the Boris! Where's this Boris? Hi. Hi! Hello, mister. I fought so many like you. Let me get my axe ready. Oh, he looks nice. He's got a beard as well. Well, it's going down. It's level 11, so it's not... The first bear I killed was back in uh, whatever the first area was. And it was uh, level 8 and I was level 1. And I killed a bear! I still remember. I think it was in the second stream, not in the first one. I wouldn't be able to... Did I? Did I? Well, Boris, you're gone. Yet another win for the Witcher! He's gonna pay. It was three matches, not five. What are you looking at, Geralt? Looking at the decadence that this is. Bravo! Plowing Scragdom Farrah. We came Tell to the right place. Tell me if two brews had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. Cyprian Wiley. Known the most as Horson Jr. Appreciates good handiwork. Well... We've not had enough. Now. Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? Oh no, they will not. How you do I get to him? Kill him? How the hell do I get to Oh, I got plenty of doors down here, I suppose. Should be okay. Get the quen up, just in case. Oh, they're coming for me. What a poor Giving me no choice. bunch of idiots. And they're on fire. Look at that. It's as if I was waiting for them. There's a dog as well. Ouch. Get back. Oh, the dog's attacking me. That's not as great. Set them on fire like so. Got the Quen. This guy's not on fire, so I'm going to dodge him a little bit. And this guy, dog, is down. That guy's down. Wait for him to attack you. Could have pressed on right there. And get him with a power attack. Oh, doesn't break the shield. I mean, I didn't expect you to break the shield, but break the guard at least. Yeah. Hello? Nobody around. Okay. I want to go through here. It sounds like there's people fighting upstairs. What? I don't, I don't want to go upstairs. Upstairs is bad. I want to go downstairs because I think there was more for us to explore over here. Floor is worn by a moving door. Something behind this wall. Yup. Yeah. But how? How do you open that? Maybe art? I broke something behind it, but... Is it this? No, can't do anything here. How do you open the door? Oh, there. Yeah. Interesting. Is it where I want to go, mo more to the point? Maybe. Okay. Get up there. Mysterious letter. Okay, we're getting some stuff, but what is this? Uh, mysterious letter is apparently a quest item. Yeah. To Horson Jr., King Gradovid is unhappy with your performance. Hmm. You were to read the city of the, mem the other members of the so-called Big Four. Yeah, that's right. Yet not only do they still live, but they also know, uh, now know of your role in their attempted assassination. That was not our arrangement. For the first time, hide in the place which the messenger delivering this missive will indicate to you and stay out of sight. 
His Majesty lives in the hope that mutual animosity between the other members of the Big Four will finish the job which you attempted, yet flubbed so badly from M. Wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. That's the same M. It's probably the same M as the other as the other guy. Remember, that was a name. He had a name. The 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 agent. It's got it's got to be all connected, right? I mean, we're all on the same trail. Of course, it's all connected. It's not a bunch of. Oh hi. Oh, apparently these guys are. Oh. How do I? Hello. Well, this guy is really upset. Hey, don't attack me. Oh, everybody's real upset. So from here, I go through here. I think this is where I came from. Looks like the place. Go upstairs. Yeah. And then these guys will probably not be here anymore. Nope. Because Clever's man came. And then we are. Oh, there's war down. Kill him? No, you're not going to kill him. Let's see. Hello, sirs. Die, fool! What are you trying to kill? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, this is the, okay. It's just still two. It's two hundred feet. I just looked. <laughs> oh yeah, sell the stuff. Good call. Hello, miss. <laughs> Do you? Can I? Can I uh, apply for your services? See yourself. No, apparently not. Well. Oh, there's a tavern up here. Is this the tavern? Take care. Have of we the been here? And the crowns will take care of themselves. <laughs> Maybe we have. Lay me down with a barrel of beer and well, a cup we haven't. Otherwise, I've I've had stolen everything. Okay, let's go over here to the tavern first. So also, keep an eye on the time because we have a quest later tonight. So take all these stuff. It's a good it's a good way to tell if I have been here. I think it's convenient. Also, lets me be over encumbered a bunch of times. So I need to go to the trader. Apparently, there's. Oh. Can I loot this? I wonder how much she's paid for contorting so awkwardly. Ooh, what? Who's contorting awkwardly? Indeed. Nobody's contorting awkwardly. Wiggle their asses and others' faces. She wiggles any more. It would be quite profitable. Does she no sense of decency? Are you kidding me? You're in a brothel. There's naked ladies painted on the wall. Right? Yes, there are. Oh, so... Scoundrel. Did you hear the you're a scoundrel. The last race day and there's, all, there's also semi-naked dudes. Right. So I suppose it's a brothel for everybody. Very inclusive. Oh, oh, sorry. Excuse me, lady. Oh, she's... Everybody's in various states of undress. Where are we... What are we looking for? We're looking for that... Oh, madame. White Wolf, welcome to the Passiflora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. So the, uh, staff hasn't changed since then? Oh, of course it has. We read about this. so incessantly in this business. Burley Berthy married a merchant. Ella struck out on her own. And you'll likely find Cerise praying at no the idea. temple. Cerise. I alone remain. Hmm. So, shall I summon the girls? Just remember, this is a decent establishment. Pause to yourself to start with. And our girls are well-mannered. The range of subjects they discuss in detail, I myself find it daunting. It's, it's all down to the clothing, really, because they're probably all the same model. We've Hello, Viola. Greetings to the honorable gentleman. Welcome. Man. Make yourself at home. What have you come for? We're prepared to fulfill your every whim. So who, are the one, who was the one that I, that I could talk to the most? The stock. The Passiflora certainly deserves its reputation. We do all to please our patrons and make sure to turn the rabble away. You know what? Her voice is kind of turning me off. Nice meeting I don't... you. <laughs> I don't like her. His voice. She sounds like a man. I don't like that. Let's go upstairs. Let's go to the elf. Hello. Welcome, sir. We trust our charms and skills will prove to your liking. What is it you wish? You're an elf. Easily recognized. 
I'm proud of it. Never thought to conceal it in any way. From what I know, elves in Novigrad aren't exactly treated in a civil manner. That's putting it lightly. But mm. this is not the place to discuss that. You've come seeking pleasure, not to hear complaints. <laughs> See? It's, it's, uh, it's not good. It's not good. Let's go for this one. I'm tired. Like to relax with a beautiful woman. Preferably an elf. You've chosen well. Preferably a sorcerer, but, you know, one you can't pick. Oh boy. And we're outside. Oh, we could go for the other ones. Eh, not gonna go for the other ones. Uh, let's get out of here and go down to Horson Jr.'s hideout, because we need to find this guy. Uh, see you later, Miss Patrice, whatever her name is. And uh, so where do we need to go to? Oh man, a long, long way. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, it's midnight. At midnight, we have a quest. Need to remember that. But uh, for right now, we still have a few hours. Probably like 20 minutes, I think. Pamperam. I, 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 I think it's five minutes per hour in the game, so probably like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Should be okay here. Sorry. Oh. Are they a, oh, a collectible? Are they an achievement? Or, nah, I don't think they would be. Oh, there's, yeah, that's why they're here. They came here and murdered everybody. I'd expect teeth to go up my ass before I'd expect to find Horson hiding in his house. Cleaver said to be thorough, so we look everywhere. Not yeah, we do. The Those rats Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Nice Didn't leave a scrap. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if I can find something, though. Okay, apparently there's nothing interesting there. What about here? There's upstairs, by the way. Place has been scrubbed clean. Okay, and that's the conclusion, I guess. I need to talk to Dixtras, uh, uh, Dixtra about Horson's ties to the Redanians. Because we found that before. Yeah, get that. Let's go in here. Hey! Yeah, 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 I know. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? A bunch of stuff. How about a game of Gwent? Ever play Gwent? I do. Gwent's like politics, just more honest. Care for a game against an old master? <laughs> yeah, let's play. Well, I won against that other, other lady, so I wonder if I'm gonna win against him. Let's find out. <laughs> right. Of course. Why not? Because of course that one provides double damage or double double bonus. And then the lion to buff everybody up. Yeah. And there it is. And I win. Or he I, he loses. He wins. He was Oh my turn. No, no. I pass. And he w wins, right? Or is he going to play? He's not. Yeah, it's not winnable. Not right now, anyway. Know what? You should really stick to killing monsters. I hate the camera movement. It's weird. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? It's... it's... It, oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go with this one. Do the quests. Wiley. Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Haha. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so. Wait a minute, yeah. You fallen out with Redania? My sympathies have nought to do with this. Horson wiped his ass with our agreement. That's betrayal, regardless of his current allegiance. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian. Former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed yeah. up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up, at least. We're gonna talk to Roach. Look at that. In the camp... I think I know where this is. This is very far away. No, it's not, actually. It's over there. Hmm. Really? Uh, let's go into this house, into this shop. 
It Hello, sir. Can't be. White Marcus. Hair, yellow eyes, slashed face, just like he said. Marcus T. K. Hodgson is gone. Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia is enough. What is it? A man came to me a few years past, paid me to keep a book for you, said you'd come for it one day. Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself, but the book has a red cover, that I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right, see if I can find it. And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Be glad to look over what you got. Anyway, the reason for choosing Jax the Aldersburg as Grandmaster remain a mystery. The Order of the White Rose had uh, gone through a crisis. Oh, this is the, from the first game. Had gone through a crisis in those times and was on the verge of collapse. So one might guess that the Brethren wished to have the, someone decisive as their leaders. Someone with a clear vision. The Aldersburg was precisely such a man. One of his first decisions was to change the Brotherhood's name to the Order of the Flaming Rose. The most puzzling aspect, however, is that the Order and the King himself deci decided to trust a man who, for all intents and purposes, had appeared out of nowhere. They say he was a wanderer, an in in itin itinerant priest who moved crowds with his speeches, pro declaiming non-humans. They say he worked miracles and showed his flock visions of a world destroyed by the White Frost. Yeah, he did. He was undoubtedly a man of great charisma, one instilled with unshakable principles, which he in turn tried to instill in others. Was he truly a source? Was he indeed gifted with raw magic talent? That we will never know for certain. Well, I know for certain. And anybody that plays the first game knows for certain. Uh, letter from A. Oh, this is a letter. Let's read it for a little bit. From A? From an old friend. Who's A? From an old friend. I was the chosen one, and the chosen... This is Alvin. This is a letter from Alvin. Holy crap! And of course, Jack, Stial Jack the Aldersburg. That's him. Was the letter there? I think so. He thought so. Alvin did. We all did, actually. For a, I mean, Triss did for a little while. And that's what he means by through all time and space, because he traveled time. In the ocean of possibility, some events are more likely and some less. It is not easy to fish out the first, not even when one in one's intellect stretches through all time and space. I left this letter for you in the hope that despite all odds, you will come across it one day, for I must warn you, mankind is threatened. Yeah, what he said. The prophesied destruction of the, by the White Frost is not just a babbling of, by some mad she-elf. Perhaps I will have the opportunity to convince you of this in person. If not, I must rely on this letter, which you will read many years from now, at a time when you, when you know more than you did when we first met. Which was the beginning of the first game. And know that nothing will save the world except preparing its entire population for this catastrophe, which is what he wanted to do by turning everybody into weird man, man beasts. The old tales say the child of the elder blood can save off the danger, but I tried. And it's what do you mean? Yeah. I tried and failed. Ever since I have been haunted by a hideous vision, a, c a crowned wraith, the specter of my failure, which we found in the first game and in the second game as well, I was the chosen one. And the chosen one failed. You and your brotherhood are our only hope. My brotherhood, the Witchers. When the time of the wolf, wolf's blizzard come, comes, man shall perish, and only the Ubermen will survive. Your duty is to give the world Ubermen. Whatever you think of me, do not fail as I have failed. When did he write this letter, though? And over here, I wonder if we're in time already. It's already 1 p uh, 11 p.m., so I, I guess. Now just to hide and wait. By hide, what do you mean hide? Find a good place to hide. Outside? Nope. Not outside. Behind Inside a cupboard? The door. Oh. Best place to hide. Classic. Okay. Are we gonna need to wait for midnight? Let's not wait. Let's meditate for midnight. So, meditation. Just midnight.
That's the... No, that's me. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's the cap... What's she doing here? Oh, I'm waiting for her. Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Oh, this place is haunted. Did you see? Did you see the, the things? Did I see him before? Menge. Indisposed. No. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are. But you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I'd never. But to a witch. Lady witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Had enough? Fuck off! I can take this! Of course you can, but I'm just getting started! Ah! Oh! Triss, stop. First, let him! Please. So, gonna talk? Uh, Bad cop, defense. good cop. On a question. Okay. Well, I have three questions for you. Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way. Sure about that? Yes. No matter what you do, witch. That I will never reveal. I think I know who you're working for already. Where'd Manga hide Siki Ruven's treasure? I haven't a clue. You realize one word and you'll howl with pain again. Yeah, and yet I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? Think he's telling the truth? Ugh, looks like it. Yeah. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. That... That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have said so from the start. Before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Yep. You expect an apology? No. But I've a right to be surprised, haven't I? The dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume? We can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. Yeah. <laughs> but why? I told you... No, he didn't. I'll never... Either nope. he dies, or I wipe his mind. As good as lit the pyres with Menga in the square. He deserves to die. Yeah, that's too risky. But, but I helped you. No, he didn't. I helped... Nope. I told you she was a badass. She did. Really showed your claws today. Is that how you see it? I'd put it differently. I showed how little I differ from these bastards. I... Let's finish up and leave. I want to go home. Bathe. And get drunk. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. 
But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh. So, mind coming by later? Manga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns <laughs> without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Yeah. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. I don't know what to say, though. And she just teleports away. Looks alive. He does? Why? I told you to kill him. I told her to kill him, right? Wasn't that what happened? I don't know what to say, though. She's... I... I should have... I basically chose the wrong... Wrong... Wrong question right there. I really thought... Man, Triss has changed, I think. It's downstairs or is upstairs? Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Oh, it's the it's the it's the lady in the Witcher one all over again. Can I steal from you? Ever lose? Sure. Okay, let's go upstairs. Man, this house is all slanted. What the hell happened to this house? It's gonna fall. Soundtrack right now, by the way. Can I st take that? Oh, there's more stuff. I'll take it on my way down. Triss. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Sure. That's what I'm here for. She's keeping the last wish with her. Hey. Yes, Geralt? Oh. Got a bunch of problems, I, I guess. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. See you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Really? Hmm. Feel all right? Hmm. So so. Why do you ask? Well, oh, we can't. Because of what happened before. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. She. Yeah, it's the self pity. I think, or something to that extent. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. <laughs> you guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Why? What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what it's like to be tortured, what it's like to hear the screams of others and be unable to do anything. You could have escaped at any time. 
I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. <laughs> Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. I think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. Yeah. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. The thing is, I can th I can see where this is going. Okay, so a matter of life and death. I, I can see where this is go I hope Triss can't die in this game. <laughs>